How long does Liberty Mutual have to settle a car accident claim in Connecticut? And the answer to that's a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna tell you what you're going to experience with them. Liberty Mutual employed McKinsey Consulting, one of the biggest consulting firms in the world, and said, you know, how can we uh, take our claim center and turn it into a profit center? And McKinsey says, hey, look, delay, deny, defend. Uh, that's going to be your strategy. So if you're looking for a settlement and you're on your own, you're going to deal with the first D in this, which is delay. Um, they're going to seek to delay payment to you. And you know, the Liberty adjuster may initially be very nice. They may try to think that you, they want you to think that they're your friend. Well, you know what? They are not your friend. They are working for a, slow, a soulless, greedy corporation who is out to make money on your pain. Um, and so what they do is they may be nice. Uh, they may say, oh, you know, just submit your medical records, submit your bills. And oftentimes you'll do that. You'll get no response. Then they'll claim that they've lost those records and bills and then you resend them. Um, maybe they change adjusters. The adjuster doesn't respond to you. They don't get back to you. They're really just giving you the, the runaround. And I just want you to know that this isn't a bug. This is a feature. This is by design how they do this. Uh, they want you to get frustrated. They want you to give up. They want you to take pennies on the dollar saying this can't be worth it. I just want this over um, because they know if you hire a lawyer um, and you actually pursue a claim against them, they're going to have to pay you about three and a half times what they could just pay you uh, directly. So that's obviously a big business loss across millions of claims that they handle uh, in a given year. And all the while they're doing this, Oh, they have another trick. They always like to ask for more information, including things that they are absolutely not entitled to. So you send them over the records from you know, the urgent care or the chiropractor that you went to, um, and then they say, well, we need to see your primary care records. Um, they may not even be entitled to those, or you need to sign a medical authorization. Don't sign that medical authorization because they're gonna pull every record that they, that, that, that they can find on you from every doctor. Um, that you've ever seen, and you don't want that disclosed to Liberty Mutual. Um, they have no right to that. Um, so they might ask for more. They might, you might send in pay stubs and they wanna see tax returns. Um, always asking for more, and they do it intentionally to frustrate you, um, to make it say that it's not worth it. And they have you know, their eyes on a two-year statute of limitations, because uh, they know two years and one day goes by, and that case isn't settled or in suit, they don't have to pay you anything. Some people may forget, some people may give up, or some people may the week before try to get a lawyer to file a lawsuit and the lawyer says, look, I can't file a lawsuit this fast. I need to, you know, I don't have time. I need to get uh, a better idea of what happened here. Um, and, and maybe a lawyer won't take a case um, that close to the statute of limitations. So, you know, they're really looking at that. Um, so the answer here is, you know, if your case isn't settled or put into suit within two years, it's gone. Um, if it's put into suit, then that extends the opportunity to settle it um, indefinitely. Um, so it doesn't matter after the date the lawsuit's filed if it's settled five years from now. Five years is not at all likely, um, but I'm just putting that out there because it could be, uh, there's, no, there's no time limit on it. Now, once they settle, they have 30 days to pay you. Um, 30 days from when you sign and send them the release or if it's in litigation, the withdrawal. But at any rate, if you're dealing, um, you know, if you're, if you're dealing with Liberty Mutual here, you really should have a lawyer who's experienced in fighting them, um, who knows their tactics, who knows the nonsense, the tricks that they pull, who's not phased by them, who they know will fight back um, and, and has different ways of putting pressure on, uh, on these insurance companies. If you have any questions, you can give me a call, 860-471-8333.